Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how to use Linux container with LXT and LXC under Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So what are actually LXD and LXC? So LXC actually stands for Linux containers and LXD is a Linux container daemon. Okay. So the both work together in order to provide us with a kind of virtual machines. So here I said a kind of virtual machines because in virtual machines you have a hypervisor and you have your host machine. But in Linux containers there is no hypervisor actually, okay? Because the containers use the hardware and the resources of the host, okay? So I will show you that in later in this video. Okay. So first thing first, uh, you have to install LXD and LXC. So it depends on the distribution that you are using. So if you are using a Debian based uh, distribution, you can just use the command with sudo, of course, uh, apt install LXD and LXD client. Okay. But if you are using Red Hat or CentOS distribution, you can use Snap if you want. Snap also provides a better way to install LXD. You can just type, uh, for example, sudo snap install LXD. Et voila, you get everything done and set up for you. I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's pretty straightforward. You find a lot of tutorials on the net on YouTube how to install LXD and LXT. Okay, so here I'm assuming that you already installed LXD and LXT depending on your distribution. So after that, the first thing you have to do is to initialize the LXD configuration, and you do that using the command LXD init. So this command actually will allows you to answer a bunch of uh, questions. I will show you here an example. For example, you would like to use LXD clustering. By default, it's no. Do you want to configure a new storage pool? Normally, you said yes. If it was the first, uh, your first configuration here, I'm using an already done configuration. So I'm gonna say also yes i'm gonna stick with the default so if you want to create a new storage you can give it a name or you stick with the default one okay i'm not going here to answer all these questions because they are very simple that uh, uh, just an advice stick with the defaults so once you have that let me just clear that so once you have answered all the questions you are ready to actually use LXD. But remember, we always use the command LXC. So the first thing is to launch actually an image or a container. So for that, you can use the command LXT launch images column. Then here you have to provide the kind of distribution that you want to contain to make as a container. So there is a bunch, a bunch of distribution that you can use. Of course, Ubuntu, uh, Alpine Linux, uh, Red Hat and CentOS. So there are a lot of distribution that you can choose from. But here I will be using Alpine because it's very really small. It will not take a lot of time in order to download it from the remote repositories. So you type the name of your distribution then slash the version. So I will stick with version 3.8, for example. Et voila. And space, then here you can provide a customized name for your container. So I will just type test because here I've already actually done some, uh, I've already downloaded some images. Okay, I will show you. So here you can see it's creating a test content and here it will actually the requested image could not be found 
maybe we'll choose another version 3.10 uh, so 3.10 exists so as you can see it's very fast it's downloading from the repos and it's creating a container in couple of seconds here okay now it's starting so to verify that you will use the command lxc list so here this command will actually shows you all the containers in your system here we go so here you can see a bunch of containers that I have already downloaded but just keep uh, just, just take a look at this test that we just have created it's state it's running and it has an IP address okay IP version 4 and IP version 6 the type is a container and snapshot there is no snapshot for this running container and here of course here you, you see the other one that I have already worked with so there is one that I called Alpine Wine and another one called CentOS 01 and Ubuntu 01 I can start whenever uh, container I want just using the command lxc start then the container name so for example let's start this alpine 01 okay let's run again the command lx list you can see that now I have two containers two Linux containers one is called Alpine01 and another one that we have just created is called test and they are both running okay let me clear that of course you can start and stop using the command for example if you want to start you just type stop test okay test container let's verify that lxc and list always so there is now only one container that is running which is alpine01 okay i told you before when you launch actually using the command lxc launch what you do actually is you download images from remotes so if you want to see the remotes from which you download the images you execute the command lxc remote list so here you can see the remote from which we downloaded the images in order to create our containers so the name of the first one is images and there is the url okay as you can see here images that linux container .org. the protocol is simple streams okay and public of course it's yet static no the, you can also create a local repo or local remote in your uh, host machine and there are two others one is called ubuntu and the other one is called ubuntu daily so there are those are all the remotes from which you download the images in order to create your containers so now let me clear that and also is good command lxc list so you can see here i have one running container called alpine01 so how to interact with this container so it's pretty simple you execute the command lxc exec and the container name so in my case it's alpine01 then dash dash then space and here you can specify the command that you want to execute so Alpine is a very small dist Linux distribution that is using by default the ash shell so if I type here ash now I'm inside my Alpine container let's execute list for example so there is nothing but if I list all so there is an ash history file okay let's say the version of the kernel as I told you 
actually these containers actually uses the kernel of my host machine so if i execute here name minus r in order to see the version of the kernel that using this uh, container you can see is 4.18 which is the same contain uh, just the same uh, version of the kernel of my host machine okay so keep that in mind all your containers are using the hardware and the resources of your host machine for example let me see if i can execute this command 3 minus h or just 3 minus m i guess yes 3 minus m this is the total physical memory in this container which is the same as my hosts it's always six gigabytes okay of course if you want exit you just type exit and you return back to your normal shell which is in my case bash shell so remember if you want to execute any command you just type lxc exec then the name of your containers which is in my case alpine01 dash dash slash and here you can execute whatever command you want if you want to enter the shell you just type shell directly but if you want to execute any command for example let me execute the ping ping.8888 which is the dns the google dns et voila i can reach you can see here the container can reach actually the dns container a uh, dns uh, google the google dns actually okay what else i want to show you here uh let's say that you want for example uh, to make a snapshot which is an image of your running container at real time so it's pretty easy so first let's execute lx list so here at the end you can see this uh, column here at the end will shows us how many snapshots we have taken so for my running alpine 01 container i have no snapshot but if you want to create one you just type lxc okay snapshot then the name of your container which is alpine in this case 01 and here you can type the snapshot name so let's make it for example version 01 here we go so now let's execute once again lxc list now you can see that i have indeed created a snapshot okay let me clear that you can also get more info about your container by executing the command lxc info then the name of your container for example in my case alpine 01 so you get here the bench of information you have the name of your linux container if it's remote or local the architecture the creation date the profile is the default one you have also the ip address of this container that was assigned by the bridge and remember the bridge will be created when you execute the command lxd init which is the first command you must execute in order to configure actually lxd and here at the end you can see the snapshot that we have so we have created snap snapshot the name of this one is version 01 it was taken today at this time okay so always use the command lxc info in order to get more info about your containers okay another useful command if you want to see all the downloaded images in your local uh, host you can execute the command lxc uh, image list okay so all you see here are actually what i have downloaded in order to create it my containers so there is alpine 3.10 
CentOS 7, Ubuntu Xenial, and Alpine 3.12. Okay, so here you can see the architecture, the container type, and the size. Of course, for Alpine, the small size is always good in order to run microservices. So these are all the images that are already downloaded from the remotes. So if you want to create another container from one of this image, it will be created as quickly because they have already been downloaded to my local machine. Another command that you can also use is to see where all these uh, images or containers actually, not images, all these containers reside. They reside in storage. If you want to see where it is located, you have to execute the command LXC storage list. So this is the full path to the location of the these actually containers. Okay. So just keep in mind that there is a bunch of uh, command that you can use in order to uh, get info about your running containers. Also, when you execute the command actually LXC list, by default you have this configuration of columns, but you can actually uh, customize these columns. I will show you how. I will tap LXC list minus c for column and here you specify the order and the name so i want for example the name i'll type n i want the state which begins by, by s i want ep version 4 so i'll just type 4 i don't want ep version 6 if i want it i would type 6 but i don't want it okay i want the type i want the snapshot but i want also the storage location in this case I will hit capital S okay so now you see I customize my table so I have just EP version 4 the type the run-in and also the actually the snapshot but I don't have storage maybe it's not S but it's a B if my memory is good Yes, it's B4 storage pool. Now how I have actually the name of the storage pool that I'm using, which is the default one. And of course you can just type LXC and you get all the possible commands with the options that you can use. Okay. Just type in LXC. You can have all the commands with the flags that you can use in order to get any help you want okay so Linux containers are very useful if you want to troubleshoot if you want to actually test your environment before make it in production otherwise I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye